Hi, welcome back to the third video in our three-part video series about the crucial and vital tools for immigrant job seekers. In the first video, we talked about your CV and how you need to have a strategic CV set up to be able to be landing a job in your new country as an immigrant job seeker. The second video was all about your immigrant LinkedIn profile and how you need to set that up to work with your CV to land a job. Now in the third video, we are going to look at networks and relationships and how to use that last vital part of your package to land a job in your new country. So when we build networks and relationships, let me illustrate something by a little story. If someone knocks at your front door right now and asks you for $50, say it's a complete stranger, what would you do? I bet you would not give them that $50. It's a lot of money in our world. You probably slam the door in their face or not even open the door in the first place. But what if your neighbor that you have known for the last 20 years asks you to borrow $50? or a friend or a relative that you've known for a long time, you would probably not think twice about giving them that money. Why is that? Why the different behavior to a stranger than to someone you know? The difference is trust. You already know and trust your neighbor or a friend or relative, which you've had a relationship with for the past number of years, but you do not trust a stranger. This is the same thing for immigrants who wants to find jobs in their new country. It is more about trust than anything else. As an immigrant job seeker, you are less trusted than the locals. And just the fact of life, there's nothing you can really do about it, but build trust. So how do you go about doing that? You do that through creating networks and within those networks, create relationships. In other words, build relationships with people so that they know and trust you for a while before you ask something from them or before they will offer you something. So in this video, we can look at three things about how to build that trust in networks and relationships. So now, how do you build those networks and relationships? Here are three ways. You need to utilize your social media profiles online, like LinkedIn and Facebook. You need to engage with your audiences on those profiles and keep them interested. And you need to utilize those profiles to access advanced strategies of job finding. And I will show you what those are. Firstly, use your social media profiles like LinkedIn which you've set up in the second video to build that network and that connections as a professional. LinkedIn is a professional social media platform, just like Facebook is for private social media. So the same way that you build connections in Facebook, you can do the same through building connections in LinkedIn. And that way your professional connections will see you as the knowledgeable, engaged, interesting person. And that way your networks will grow. You will find people in different places, in different companies, in different groups on the other side of the world who will become known to you and you will become known to them. And that way they will start knowing you and trusting you. So use your social media profile to start building that trust. Second of all, you can't just set up a Facebook profile and forget about it. What will happen to it? Nothing, exactly. No one will know about it. You will never have any friends added to it. You cannot share any information, any photos, any things that happen in your life with people that you know that are your friends on Facebook. The same with LinkedIn. You don't just set up a LinkedIn profile and forget about it. You have to be active and engaged in your LinkedIn profile. What that means is you have to constantly 
share things in your LinkedIn profile with your connections that you have built and that you have connected with. You have to engage with them. In other words, engage in group discussions. Ask questions from your connections. Be interested in what they do. Where do they work? Who do they work for? What, how is that work? What, how did they come to work there? What is it like? That way, again, they come to know you and they come to trust you. You will become known as the person who's really interested in not just that job, but in the people behind that job. And when they're thinking about needing someone for a very specific niche job, guess who, whose name will come up in their mind because it's already in the forefront of their mind because they've engaged with you on a regular basis. Third of all, your LinkedIn profile will make you able to enter other job finding strategies that is usually out of bounds for normal people who just use a scattergun approach. Those are job finding strategies like approaching employers directly. Now, this is a very advanced job finding strategy for immigrants, but it is extremely effective. And people who use this and know how to use this will absolutely be guaranteed of finding a job in their new country if they do this correctly. But the precursor to be able to implement those advanced job finding strategies is having a LinkedIn profile and having built those networking relationships and having worked those relationships to the point where they are known and trusted. Then you'll be able to go to someone that are in your relationships and in your networks and ask them about job opportunities. That is like someone, like a relative or a friend or a neighbor asking for the $50. You're already trusted and you're already known. And when you apply for a job at the place where you're already known and trusted, have communicated with, have engaged with, have asked questions of, they know you already. You will be in the front of that queue, not in the back line as someone that is completely unknown. Because see, immigrants are unknown and they're not trusted and that's nothing you can do about it like I see, but build trust. So these three ways, using your social media profiles to set up that connection, set up the networks and start building relationships, starting to really engage with those connections inside those relationships, building a relationship, becoming trusted and known, engaging with those people, and then adding to your mix of tools and strategies, the advanced job search strategies, like approaching employers directly, that will take your complete job finding as an immigrant to a whole different level. You are now not at the back of the queue anymore. First of all, you might have the best skills, experience and qualifications that anyone has ever heard of because it might be internationally recognized. Third of all, you will have a LinkedIn profile that is promoting that CV and those credentials on that CV. Third of all, you will have networks and relationships on the other side of the world who knows you, who trusts you, who's interested in you because you have built relationships with them. Then asking for a job or getting those shoulder taps is really not hard. It is bound to happen actually. I still get these shoulder taps even though I'm not in a job anymore. Lots of my clients are getting these shoulder taps because they have done these things. So go back to these three videos. Make sure that you implement these things that I've given you completely for free here. This is gold. This is magic. This is how cru crucially how immigrants find jobs in their armchair from the other side of the world. This is how it all happens. If you think there's a magic trick to it, I've just given you the magic in these three videos. If you want any more free training like this, or you want to get your hands on the complete QJumper Factor program, which goes into great depth and detail of all these three vital tools and much, much more, then go to QJumperFactor.com, 
make sure you signed up for some more free training like this or to get your hands on that QJumper Factor program. Thank you for watching these three videos and I'll see you in the next round of free training of how to land a job in your new country in record time. See ya!